seven seconds of that. <laughs> Hello again, uh, today we're in the woodland, a bit lower from where we were on the other video. And today uh, my son Lewis, there he is, uh, is going to light a, a fire using flint and steel, right? Yeah. Cool. Right. It's only going to be a little fire, so obviously the, the ground's quite damp, so we've, but we've put a base down anyway. Mm -hmm. We've got a few bits of kindling and a little fire kit there, my homemade fire starter in there. I've got a fire still in my pocket, and uh, shall we crack on, eh? Let's get to it. Okay, just in this little fire kit, I've just got the, the norm, a little leather pouch, um, wet fire, lighter, ferro rod, and some, uh, actually they're not the my homemade ones, they're the ones from the Pathfinder school, so we use one of those. Break it in. Put it across your knee and pull. Like that. That's it. Now put it that way. So build a bit of build a base. Okay. Yep, that's it. Now it's not gonna be a big fire, so we'll let's have a little base, alright? Yep. Sorry, I made a mistake earlier. It's not flint and steel, it'll be for the, the ferro rod, but um same principle as the uh, cotton cotton and wax. Uh, cotton and Vaseline, whatever you choose to use. You just tear this up, expose the fibres, like so. And put a spark into there. Which you now Lewis should hopefully demonstrate, first time. <laughs> Here we go. Remember, don't put, keep it nice. That's it. Keep going, keep going. Don't be afraid of it. Okay. Don't get frustrated, just try and get the there we go. You've done it. Well done. Excellent. What I'm doing now, just put a few twitters on there. Probably put it out. Does the fire need the air? It does, you're right, yeah, exactly. Well, I don't know, it does need the air. So you can't really smell the other things. We had a, quite a bad thunderstorm last night, so everything's probably still a bit damp, but. Uh, and there you go. So there you go, Lewis. How do you feel about your first fire in the woods? Yeah, pretty good. Yeah? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> 
And there we have it. So it's only a short one guys, just a quick uh, venture into the woods. We was going to originally do a camp, but um, probably a bit damp. I don't think the weather's too good tonight, so I think we'll do it when the weather's obviously better. Good and just show the, the, the fire steel Lewis on the camera there. And there's one that he used, it's just a, like a BCB um, on the compass. That's sort of a and they always say size matters. Check that out. Courtesy of Mr. Scooty, bought it in from the Bushcraft Show. He could, aptly called the monster. Hmm. I think it's ebony wood. Was it mahogany? Can't remember. With buffalo horn and red liners. Very nice. We've got a good share of sparks off that bad boy. There we go, ready for another one. Lewis is going to record on his little video. So he wants to do one for his little channel. So we're ready to go again. Right, bud? Yep. Cool. Just going. We'll set it up again. Future Steven Spielberg. I can't see where it is. <laughs> Gotta tilt it back a bit. That makes it go up. Or tilt it forward. <laughs> How much do I tilt it? <laughs> Come back a bit, you're probably a bit too close. And um, you can see another one I did on King's TLC channel. So there you go guys. As you can see that's where we had the fire. All gone. To be expected. And saying that it's quite a good little camp actually for where me and Lewis because it's quite a flat bit of area there when we come next time. As you can see it's all quite hilly down there. But we found a nice little flat spot there. And I think possibly a tent here somewhere, Lewis's tent. And I'll probably make a, a bed here somewhere. And uh, yeah, nice little spot. So there you go guys, just a quick video of um, Lewis lighting the fire with his ferrocium rod, which now he will have, but only when we come out in the woods, he will obviously have it in the house, <laughs> setting the house on fire. <laughs> but um, only a quick one, and hopefully you'll see us again soon here, this spot, maybe a camp and overnight, mm -hmm. yeah? So we're not too far from home really, are we? No. So, if you, did, if you decide not to stay, that's fine, we can always go home and... Uh, 
try again sometime at another time, can't we? Okay. Catch you on the next one, guys. I didn't get in the face this time. <laughs>